We present a new Ars Subtilior, I mean, late Ars Nova Italian motet in Honolulu as a birthday offering to Meg. In August 2020, this horrible year, we moved to Hawaii for Alina's great new job. Knowing that eager researchers had already rummaged through the usual archives, we decided to head to the middle of Oahu to the Dole Plantation Archives. Because access to the archives is restricted to people who can navigate their difficult pineapple maze, we were the first musicologists to investigate their holdings. One holding caught our attention. Today, it is a slim collection of documents relating to 19th century Japanese pineapple pickers. But originally, Dole Manuscript 1940 was something quite different. The covers attest that it was a collection of hymns, primarily to St. Catherine and her mother, but the front paste down is of great significance. The exposed side is blank, but the back, not yet lifted, gives evidence of an otherwise unknown four-voice motet. While awaiting UV photos, we studied and transcribed the opening of the motet. The notation is incredible, inventing new red, void, and tailed symbols to represent four, seven, and even two and a half minims in Novenaria. The essential contratenor might have the wrong clef. When read a third higher, it fits all the characteristics of an Italian motet as described by Bent. The triplum might also be better read down a third, where it functions as an ornamented version of the cantus, as in mod A. However, after David Fallows' recent presentation, we cannot rule out the original clef merely because of the high A. Put together, it is a remarkable piece filled with hockets and impressions of French music. We attempted to sing the piece for you. But lacking singers owing to quarantine rules, I decided to take it to the piano to sound it out. So here is the motet, Ave Clarissima Lumen Lunae. Happy birthday, Meg. We hope you have a great year. May your light continue to illuminate us all.